Have you ever made a bad financial investment or an investment that just went wrong and you laid awake at night worried and it got you right in the pit of your stomach? I have and I want to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. I have some financial people that uh, have advised me over the years and whenever I've tried to do an investment I my own where I thought, oh, this is a great opportunity. I can really make a lot of money. It seems like it's never worked out. And I feel like God has taught me some hard lessons in that area over the years. In fact, I remember one time going to a racetrack with, with my friend and, and watching people that had bet big money on these horses and they were nervous and they were smoke, smoking cigarettes and you could see they were stressed out. And I'm thinking, man, did they take out a second mortgage on their house? and they didn't tell their wife. But you know, money can be a big source of stress. And that's why the Bible talks about money so often, and it talks about investments and where are we investing. I think the best passage I've read on this is in Matthew chapter six, beginning in verse 19 in the New International Version, we read, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for your treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. Now this is key, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. I've heard before that you can see where a man's heart or a woman's heart really is if you look at their checkbook and you look where they're spending money and where they're investing money. And you also can by where a person's investing their time. So many people work so hard to make it big and then they get accumulate all of this wealth and all of these possessions and then they realize it doesn't satisfy. It's never going to satisfy. When John D. Rockefeller was asked, how much does it take to make a man really happy? He said, just a little more, always just a little more. So I ask you today, where are you putting your money? Where are you putting, spending your time? What are you investing in? Are you investing in things that are temporary, that are gonna burn up one day, and that you're gonna leave behind when you die? They say you never see a hearse dragging a U-Haul, do you? No, we don't take anything to the grave and to eternal life, but we will find out if we have rewards in heaven. So it's very important that we look at where are we investing our time? Where are we investing our money? And I'll leave you with this. Chapter 24 of Matthew 6 says, No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the, the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Make sure money is not your God and invest in things that will have eternal value. That's what we're trying to do here at Fearless Faith, and I wanna encourage you to do the same. God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.